Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 14, lesson 8, triangles. Okay. Page number is 919. Before starting today's lesson, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay. You guys know about triangles that uh, a shape which have three sides and three angles okay that is known as triangle okay now there are many there are many different kinds of triangles you can classify triangles by the measure of their angles in this lesson we will learn to to classify the triangles by the measurement of their angles you can also classify the triangles by their sides like when all the sides of a triangle are equal that is an equilateral triangle when two sides are equal that is a isosceles triangle and when uh, all sides are of different length that is a scalene triangle but here in this lesson we will measure the angles okay now here you guys have to memorize these three okay now you guys know that what is an acute angle obtuse angle and a right angle okay acute is an angle which is less than 90 obtuse is more than 90 and right angle is equal to 90 you can see the straight line these two lines perpendicular to each other okay they're forming a 90 degree angle if you know uh, perpendicular and parallel lines we took in uh, a lesson I think three days before okay so this uh, this one if you put your uh, the zero line of your D shape protector on this line you will see that straight is 90 and ends this line is inside so it is less than 90 so this angle is less than 90 which means acute similarly here if you put your the zero line of your D shape protector on this line here with the center here you will see straight is 90 this line is less so this is an acute angle similarly if you put the zero line of your d-shape protector here you will see this straight is 90 and this line is out of it so it is more than 90 so more than 90 means obtuse angle so how we will classify the triangles by angles when all the angles inside a triangle are less than 90 that is an acute triangle correct when we have one angle which is more than 90 that is an obtuse triangle and when we have a right triangle in our right angle in our triangle it means that is right triangle so we have three types of triangle obtuse triangle we have one obtuse angle one more than 90 acute triangle we have all the angles less than 90 acute angles okay and a right triangle we have one right angle equal to 90 got it all less than 90 one more than 90 and one equal to 90 got it guys okay let us start the first example here this triangle you can see there is a right uh, angle okay so it means how many right angles are there one how many acute angle these two are acute so two and how many obtuse angle no obtuse angle so zero so when we have right angle that means it is a right triangle I hope you guys understand this thing in right triangle we have one right angle and other two acute less than 90 of course because if you measure if you add all the three angles inside a triangle the total is always 180 degree got it so if this one is 90 which is half of 180 so these two when you add them that must be 90 got it so in right triangle and in obtuse triangle we always have one obtuse uh, angle and two acute angle here also one right angle and two acute angle okay 
Let us move to the next page. Okay, now, vertices and line segments. You guys know about the line segments, okay? And where two line segments meet, that point is known as vertex. So this triangle have how many vertices? Three vertices, A, B, and C. A, B, C. And how many line segments? First line here, A, B. We write it here with a small line segment, symbol above it. You know it. Okay, the second line segment, B, C. Here. and the third one a c here. so this triangle have three vertices and three line segment all triangles they have three vertices and three line segment okay let us move down here so this triangle you can see if you put your d shape protector here you will see if straight is 90 more than 90 so this angle is more than 90 which means obtuse angle so it is an obtuse triangle. How many vertices? You know that 3, L, M, and P. 3 vertices, L, M, P. And how many line segments? 3 line segments. First one, L, M, L, M, M, P, M, P, and P, L, P, L. Okay. Let us move down to the guided practice. This one, if you put your the zero line of your D-shape protector here, you will see it is more than 90 so obtuse angle this angle is obtuse so obtuse triangle zero sides are perpendicular we only have perpendicular sides when we have right angle which means 90 degree angle okay here now classify each triangle as acute right or obtuse circle the triangles that have any perpendicular sides perpendicular sides means uh, 90 degree got it so we will circle the triangles which have 90 degrees right angles or the perpendicular sides okay and we will write we will classify the triangles with their names acute obtuse or right all less than 90 acute one angle this angle it is more than 90 got it so obtuse we can see from here it is right so we circle it also because these two lines are perpendicular to each other. When two lines crosses straight to each other and form a square corner, if you guys revise the lesson of uh, parallel and perpendicular lines, you will know that. And forming a 90 degree angle, these two lines are perpendicular to each other. Okay. Here again we have one angle more than 90, so obtuse. This one we can see right, so we circle it also because perpendicular lines and all three angles less than 90 acute. Okay. Draw three line segments that form a right triangle, so this is the way. Draw three line segments that form an obtuse triangle, so here we form an obtuse angle, so it is an obtuse triangle. Okay which exercises on this page shows right triangle you can see this one four six and eight and uh, perpendicular lines that is also because if it is right triangle so you will have perpendicular lines four six and eight okay classify the triangle here you can see more than 90 obtuse okay why obtuse because the triangle has one obtuse angle so it is obtuse triangle okay when measure the angles of a triangle as 25 75 80 is the triangle acute right or obtuse of course all the angles are less than 90 so it is an acute angle all three angles are acute angles okay guys if you add these three you will find 180 always whenever you add the three angles inside a triangle always the total will be 180 okay Ben said that the triangle shown is an acute triangle because the angle shown is acute of course this is an acute uh, angle but Ben didn't notice this one this is a right angle so it is a right triangle I hope you guys understand the lesson don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel and send me the homeworks through Pioneer.